Hey guys, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is part 4 of our How to Create a Discord Bot in Python series. In this video, we'll be going over on how to add cogs to our Discord bot. Um, just uh, keep an open mind if this video ever seems rushed. I uh, This is like my third or fourth time recording this. I've ran into a lot of problems uh, with OBS and also just coding it in general. Well, not it but like this <laughs> anyways to get started on uh, adding cogs to our bot first thing we want to do is import two things uh, both of these imports that we're going to be adding to our main file do not need to be pip installed they already come with Python uh, as most stuff will be uh, actually adding to our bot so we're gonna import OS and then we're gonna import a syncio or a syncio uh, again, you don't have to pip install these, they already come with Python. So after that, we are going to create two functions, uh, one load and one main. So we're going to go ahead and create our load function, so we're going to type in a sync def load. Uh, we do not need a decorator above this, this is just a normal function, so we're not going to pass anything into parameters like ctx for context or any of that, we're going to leave it completely empty. And then we're going to create a for loop. So we're going to type in for file name in os.list here, or list directory, and then we're going to type in dot slash cogs. Uh, I've already made the uh, folder, but I want to delete it just so I can go over on how to make folders if you're new to VS Code. So inside our project folder, uh, mine is just called yt bot, but yours is probably called discord bot or just bot. So we're gonna right click on our main folder and we're gonna type in, or we're gonna hit new folder and we're just gonna name it cogs. You can name the fo uh, folder whatever you want, but do um, be careful. Make sure that the name of your folder matches the name we enter in the string after the dot and slash. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna type in a if block. So if file name dot ends with and then in a string, we're going to go ahead and type in .py. And then we're going to type in client.load extension. And we're going to type in f string. And we're going to type in cogs. Dot, um, a set of curly braces. And inside the curly braces, we're going to go ahead and type in file name. And in a regular brace or bracket. And then we're going to type in a colon. A minus sign and three this is called splicing uh, splicing basically takes the last three characters of your file uh, files name off the file name so instead of uh, loading mycog.py it'll just say it loaded mycog and then if you want this is completely optional if you want you can uh, also type in print uh, I think you can go ahead and print file name. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Curly braces file name. Uh, splicing again is loaded. I think that's it. But we can also do that in our cog too. So. This is completely optional here, we don't need this line. And oh yeah, I actually just caught myself doing something wrong. We want to type in await and then client.load extension. Uh, if you ever have an async function, you're always going to need an await statement somewhere inside that function. You cannot use await without an async function. Uh, that's something uh, you might want to keep in mind, especially when making Discord bots or dealing with anything that deals with like going online or with a server and all that stuff so yeah after that we're gonna go ahead and create a main function so a sync def main again same thing as the last one we're not gonna put context in there or ctx we're not gonna have a decorator and then we're gonna type in await with client hold on wait a second why is that giving me error oh it's not a way it's a sync with client sorry guys 
again it's been a long day for me and then we're going to go ahead and type in await load so i just had it backwards that's all and then we're going to go ahead and type in await client dot start and then instead of having this client dot run with your token in it we're going to take the token out of this just go ahead and hit Control x and then we're going to go ahead and uh put it inside our client dart dot start function so we're going to go ahead and remove this client dot run because we no longer need it so if we go ahead and run the file now we should be good uh, yep so no errors so we're done with our uh, main file now now we're gonna go ahead and create our first cog so my cog is only going to include a ping command so we're gonna go ahead and just name it ping.py and after that we are going to uh, import all the things we're going to be using so import discord from discord.bxt import commands so again, import everything that you want your commands to utilize inside your cog. So if you want to have that magic eight ball command in your cog, you will need to import random on top of your Discord uh, import and your from Discord.ext import commands. But we're not going to be putting our magic eight ball command in here. We're just going to be putting our ping command, which doesn't really utilize anything but Discord. So we're fine on imports. Now we're going to create a class and if you can uh, if you remember if you ever watched my object oriented programming in Python for beginners uh, series you may already know how to create a class but in discord.py it is a little bit different I want to make sure I'm recording okay thank god I'm recording sorry guys anyways uh, we're going to go ahead and type in class or uh, yeah class and then my cog or we can name it ping. Let's name it ping just to make it look nicer. And then we're going to type in commands.cog. And then we're going to type in def underscore underscore in it. Self client. And then we're going to type in self.client is to client. And then we're good on that. And then we're going to exit out of our class and we're going to type in a sync def setup client and we're going to type in await client dot add underscore pod and then we're going to type in the name of our class and then inside of parentheses here we're going to put in client so same thing about the files and the folders, uh, do be sure that what you put in here matches the name of your class, otherwise it will mess up. And uh, if I were to just make this a lowercase p instead of an uppercase, it'll still uh, throw me a uh, small little error, basically saying it's not defined. <laughs> Excuse me. So do um, be careful, it is case sensitive and it does need to be a exactly the same but after that we're pretty much done actually initializing the cog so now what we're going to do is we're going to type in a decorator and it's going to be uh, called commands.cog.listener i think yeah listener and basically this is like an event that's triggered and we're going to type in a sync def on ready. So just like how we do um, with our on ready statement and our on ready function in our main file. So once we do that, we're going to go ahead and print. This is what I was talking about earlier. So let's see. What's the name of our file? So ping. So we're going to type in ping.py is ready. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna actually make our ping command. So if you remember to make a command in um, our main file, it would be at client.command with parentheses. In our cog, it's uh, actually a lot different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna type in an at sign and commands.command. 
And you can still put your aliases for your command if you would like. However, I'm not really going to do that with our ping command. So we're going to type in a sync def ping. And then um, we're going to go ahead and put in ctx. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Hold on now. We just did something wrong. So again, if you uh, remember my object-oriented programming video, we cannot put anything in our uh, parameters before putting self. So in working with a class, you need to pass in self first, and then we need to put in ctx for context. So when working with a cog, always remember self goes first before anything else in your command or your um, on ready. So uh, the difference between the on ready, it's, it's a little bit different in commands, but on ready in your main file uh, does not need self. It actually doesn't have anything in its parameters, but in classes that also, uh, events also do need self. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything in a class needs self, so we're not going to add any more arguments. Uh, whoops, did not mean to run it. So now we're going to just make our variable for our bot latency. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry guys, I am a bit sick. So bot latency, and we're going to set it equal to round. And then cell dot client dot latency. You remember in our other video of commands, we didn't put self uh, before client, but in classes we will be putting self before client if we're ever calling the client uh, variable. And we're just going to go ahead and put in times 1000 so we get it in milliseconds. So after that, we can just go ahead and await and send the message normally. That doesn't, that isn't really different at all, unless you're doing something a little more complex. So we're just going to type in await.ctx. Or await ctx.send. And then we're going to put in an F string, and then we're just going to type in wrong. And then our curly braces, and then inside of it, we're going to put bot latency. And we're going to put ms with a period at the end. After that, we are actually done with our cog. Um, so events need to use this decorator here, while commands must use this decorator here. If you uh, were to just use um, client.command, uh, it will not work. It'll throw you an error. So always use commands.command, just like that. And for events, instead of client.event, it's uh, commands.cog.listener. So there is a lot of differences between your main file and COGS file. However, COGS are pretty easy to learn, but they can be tri tricky sometimes. So just be patient with them and yeah. So I think we're done here now. I think if I go ahead and run my bot, should go ahead and connect to Discord. Um, weird oh i forgot i did forget something so i need to type in a sync aisle dot run and then our main function <coughs> oh my gosh so if i go ahead and run the code now should connect yep success bot is connected to discord ping.py is ready so seeing it prints out ping.py is ready from this line of code shows us that our cog is loaded in. So as you can see, we don't have any ping command in our bot.py file. But if I were to go ahead and uh, go to my bot commands channel and just type in ping, as you can still as you can see, it still sends our um, response in milliseconds. And it's just basically pulling it from our cog file. So that is a, that is how you um, add cogs to your discord.py uh, bot. Now, cogs, you don't really have to have them, but they are very useful. And that's just about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I think next video I'm going to do slash commands because I know some of you guys want to learn how to add slash commands to your bot. So yeah, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I noticed a lot of support on my videos recently and it does make me happy. And I, again, thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I try to upload quite often now, even though I am in school. So 
yeah, but anyways, I just about does it for this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.